Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. On a Thursday, our first break of the day is going to be some baseball. 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. Pick your team number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thank you to everybody who filled this one up. There it is on a Thursday, all 12 boxes. Chris with a triple last spot mojo. He got the Tigers, the Pirates, and the Padres all at once. And there's everyone else right there. Big thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Um, if you missed out on this break, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching live, you missed out on this break. I just posted another case right now, so you can start grabbing your teams that you may have missed. And then we'll keep chipping away at it, and we'll do the uh, we'll do another maybe do another case tonight if you want to. All right, so we've got six on the left and right side right here. You can, can see, excellent. And here we go. So this break will take about take about an hour. So around maybe 6.45-ish West Coast time, LA time. 9.45 East Coast time, we'll be ready for another break. And I think that's got to be that certified football that we have on the side. That's only like four teams away. All right, good luck, everybody. Box number one. Now, as, as most of you know by now, the autograph hot boxes are going to be one of these two on the left side. Or on the, I think it's that side right there. I think if I opened them the other way, they would have been on the other side. I don't know. to go. So two autograph hot boxes and two parallel hot boxes is what we're looking for. A lot of fun stuff in this set. Um, one of my favorites. I like, I like the football version of this too. All right, good luck everybody. Here we go. So we'll breeze through these. Now obviously the, the veteran base here won't ship. Stuff like this will ship. Rated rookies will obviously ship. That Josh Bell refractor will all, also ship. Now, if that Mike Trout was a refractor, that'll ship. I think everyone knows by now. That Mickey Mantle will definitely go. And that Mickey Mantle will definitely go. Out of 149. We'll sleeve and top load all of those before they get shipped out, just in the interest of time. We'll just set those aside. And nice, another one for the Yankees. That'll be for TJ Poyer with the Bronx Bombers. Gets the Clint Frazier. And then we got Andrew Stevenson for Kagan and the Nationals. Rated rookie autograph. So two autographs per box in the normal boxes. We've got blue Austin Hayes, rated rookie. That's out of 149. Joey Votto, out of 299 for the Reds. We've got a nice two-time all-star, Francisco Lindor, refractor. There we go. That's just box one. Loading. Just box one. All right. Box two. Pick your team seven. Like I said, next pick your team already in the store. Fresh case. Pick your team eight is already in the store. So 
So if you're, if you as you watch this, if you're like, hey, I actually like this set. If this inspires you, go to jazbeeshobbyland.com. Pick your teams in the next one. Or if you may have missed out on your team this time, you can uh, you can pick your team in the next one as well. Might be we got we got time, got plenty of time in the show tonight. So plenty of time to knock out another one of these. Only uh, two finals in baseball right now. The uh, the Cubs walking it off over the Diamondbacks in Chicago, seven to six. I was watching that game a little bit. I thought I thought the Diamondbacks were going to take it. Hit a grand slam in the top of the fifth. But Cubs kept chipping away. I think the White Sox came out to an early lead against the Angels, but then the Angels ended up taking over. They scored 12 runs here in Anaheim. White Sox tried to crawl back. The score ended up being 12-8. Let's see. Current scores. A lot of the games seem like they're in the fifth or sixth inning. In New York, the New York teams are winning. Yankees are up 6-0 on the Royals and the Mets. Oh, we're actually Mets are in Pittsburgh, so they're up they're leading 7-4. Tampa Bay in Baltimore, Rays are in Baltimore, they're tied at 2 in the 5th in Cincinnati. The Phillies are leading 5-4 over the Reds in the 6th. Marlins leading 3-2 over the Nats, holding on to that narrow lead at top of the 6th. We've got the Red Sox leading uh, with a narrow lead, 1-0 over the Twins. And in Atlanta, in hot Atlanta, my Dodgers are in Atlanta. They're up 2-0 in the bottom of the fifth. All right, second box. Good luck, everybody. And we've got, wow, rated rookie autograph Shohei Otani for EA Sports. It's in the game with the Angels. And that's 2 out of 25. That should cover the spot and then some. That covers the spot of the cost of admission. Nice. So there's the big hit there, Clemson. In the second box. Not too shabby. And we've got a Miguel Cabrera, Miggy variation. And out of 99, Madison Bumgarner. We'll save one of these Shohei Otanis as well for you, Eric. And then we've got, nice, Alex Verdugo, who just got called up. You're welcome, EA. Verdugo just got called up after just raking in Oklahoma City at AAA. A couple injuries here and there, and then made some room for Alex Verdugo. Who is, I think they, they re-ranked some prospects, and I think he's at the top of the Dodgers organization now. There's Kutch, there's Walker Bueller, and Kutch, that's a variation. All the variations, ladies and gentlemen, have a, have a black baseball right there, as opposed to the, the non-filled in baseball. So our shipping team will be looking at the back and making sure all of those get shipped if we miss any. A lot of times they're flipped back, backwards like that, but if they're not, we'll double check. There's JP Crawford to 99. Out of 25, EA, someone, uh, that's a, that's a nice show, Otani. Someone look that up and let, let me know what that goes for. I think Otanis are still selling okay. I mean, obviously there's more on the market now. So the, so the overall, uh, co or, you know, resale value has dropped a little bit, which we all knew would happen. The injury didn't really help either, but he's back in action now. Still hitting well. I might even have him pitch again. All right, next box. I was out of 25, the Otani. Rated rookie auto, two out of 25. Pretty strong. All right, next one. Another, we've got two more games that are just... One game that just started in Texas, the Oakland A's are leading the uh, Rangers 3-2 in the bottom of the second inning. So that, that, just, that just got underway. Um, and then the late game tonight will be Milwaukee in San Francisco. Nickel Plant saying the out of 20 went for 450. 
Nice. So what, 375, 400 for the out of 25, something like that? I don't know, it all, all depends. If someone's making a trying to make a rainbow of that Otani, and all they need is that 25, that out of 25. Wow, and an out of 35 sold for 590? That's kind of random. I feel like I feel like it'll, there's some variance depending on, you know, whatever whatever seller rating you might have, how you do the auction, whether it's a buy it now or a straight up 99 cent started at an auction, time, place, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Lansing Cole Hamels to the Cubs? Is that a is that a done deal? I know the Yankees added Jay Hab. That's a done deal. And Zach Britton too for the Yankees. That's trying to make a big run. Catch the Red Sox. There's you Darvish at a two ninety nine. We got Giancarlo Stanton Marlins edition out of ninety nine. And we got Chris Flexen, rated rookie autograph. That goes to Sam Strayer. One of the uh, one of the last teams picked up. People are saying uh, Marcus Stroman might be on the move. Braves might be interested in Marcus Stroman. Anyone have any predictions on the uh, on the trade deadline? What's going to happen at the trading deadline? The Nationals are seven games back. I, I, I keep saying this, but if the Nationals end up ten games back in a few days, there's Ron Guzman to 199. Do they consider moving Bryce Harper? Just get some prospects back. He's going to be a free agent at the end of the season. All they'll all they'll get is a compensatory pick if they if, if he doesn't re-sign with uh, with the Nats. There's Walker Bueller. Autograph. Nice. Refractor autograph for my Dodgers. David Duffy with my Dodgers. Dodger Joe Mojo. Had a good start yesterday, I think, but just one bad inning. He should be fine, though. I think there's a little dent right there, too. He should be fine. Future ace right there. You got that Verdugo too, David Duffy. All right, next. Yeah, looks like um, Jesse Rogers of the ESPN Chicago Cubs about 30 seconds ago saying Cubs have a deal in place with the Rangers to acquire veteran lefty Cole Hamels pending medical reports. Made a strong push for him today after, especially after Jay Happ went to the Yankees. Oh, Nick LaPlante. Keeping an eye on our Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobby, and I did post that Bellinger 1 of 1. I think that was out of our first or second case pretty early on. I just didn't have time to just didn't have time to post it yet. So a lot of players being moved around. Looks like that Cole Hamels acquisition, kind of a, kind of an indictment on on you Darvish, right? Hasn't has struggled to remain healthy and effective this season. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. There's J.P. Crawford to 199. 
Phillies pushed hard for Machado. I wonder what the Phillies are gonna are gonna do. I figure the Phillies and the Braves will be into something, right? And we've got Raphael Devers rated rookie autograph. Raphael Devers going to Bruce and the Red Sox. Nice. 55 out of 75. Wait, what's the difference between the... I'm not sure what the color differences are, but maybe just the Otanis are... There's Miguel Cabrera. Miggy variation. There's Madison Bumgarner to 299 for the Giants. EA was hoping for uh, for a Chris Archer over Cole Hamels for his Cubs. Chris Archer, I think, the issue with him is that I think Nick Senzel. No, it was Jesse Winker who, who got surgery. He's out for the rest of the year. The other big prospect for the Reds. Um, and there's Tyler Wade, rated rookie autograph for TJ Poyer and the Yankees. Uh... Chris Archer has a lot of uh, – has a very, very club-friendly contract for a number of years. So I think to pry Chris Archer away from the Rays I think was a tough ask. And so if the Cubs weren't willing to kind of give up some of their bigger prospects – there's Verlander right here. So if the Cubs weren't willing to give away big prospects, then I think I think Cole Hamels would have been in the the better price range for the Cubs anyway. Have I hit an Otani autograph in every case? No. Almost though. I feel like what is this? Break seven? Maybe four of the seven? Three? Three or four of the seven? But, uh, but a lot more than some of some of the other baseballs that, that we've opened up recently. All right. Uh, too late, says EA. The Cubs have already given away all their good prospects. Well, then that's the issue. Harder to get Chris Archer then. Yeah, I think for the Rays, it had to be like a godfather offer for, for, for Chris Archer to be moved from that team just because that contract is just so club-friendly. I don't know. Maybe some team will do it. I mean, who needs, who needs starting pitching and is in win-now mode and has the prospects you know, to, to be the make-weight for that trade? That would entice the Rays. They're not going to take salary dumps, you know what I mean. So I don't think I don't think that's going to be a thing that they're going to do. Um, so yeah, so I mean, it's it's it, they're not going to be too many trade partners willing to give up a lot for the Braves. Loden says that'd be interesting. Who would the who who would the Braves have to give up to get? Because the Rays are pretty high on Chris Archer. You know what I mean? They they talk with Chris Archer. I think they sold him on the uh, on their future plans for the Rays. Um, and he, I think, I think he was happy. He didn't, he didn't demand a trade or anything like that. He understood the direction that they were going. So, looks like he's on board. There's Anthony Stantner for the Baltimore Orioles. That'll go to Eric Bailey. But Braves, interesting. Who would the Braves have to give up? They could use that starting pitching. They do want to make sure that the that they can catch the Phillies and stay ahead of the Phillies. There's Anthony Rizzo at a 299 for the Cubs. Kyle Hendricks as well. That go that'll go to Megan. There's Aaron Judge at a 299. So who would you be willing to give up, Loden, on the Braves? Someone big's gonna have to go. For Chris Archer, he's got like three or four years of like 
being paid only like eight or nine million dollars a year. And for the numbers that he puts up, there's Kevin Maiton, rated prospect, former Brave right here, until the Braves got in trouble with that international money. That goes to EA and the Angels. This could be the future right here, EA. Him along with Joe Adele, plus that guy, who's actually pretty young, Otani. There's Stan for the Yankees. That goes to 149. And there you go. Next box coming up. You can see Julio Tehran being part of it. See, I don't think I don't I don't think I don't think Julio Tehran's gonna do it. Now, here's the thing. According to according to MLB.com, the Braves have six pitchers because I think they did the MLB did a recent re-ranking of the prospects of the top 100 midseason re-rankings. Braves have six pitchers among the top 100 prospects. Guess what? I'll bet. I'll bet at least two of those guys have to be included. Right, like Soroka would have to be included and maybe another lower level, but I think they're going to want two back. Because remember, they just moved Eovaldi too, Nate Eovaldi as well. So it's going to take a couple guys like that. Maybe, maybe yeah, maybe a, maybe a Charlie Culberson, you know, like maybe an everyday player too. Because remember, like, and we'll look up. I'll look up that contract maybe in the next box when I have a second. But that Chris Archer deal is really, really friendly. I think some people will be pretty shocked because I think the with the way he throws, you know, he's not maybe not maybe not a Cy Young candidate, but he's could be number two, number three pitcher for a lot of teams, you know. And his value is a lot more than what he's getting paid right now. So that team control makes him extremely valuable. Not just the numbers, it's the money too. All right, looks like we got the parallel hot box. There's Jordan Montgomery to 299 for the Yankees. There's Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals out of 99. I think Cardinals might have to rethink what they're going to do by the trading deadline. Pirates too, Josh Bell to 149 coming off that, what, 9, 10, 11 game winning streak. There's Ken Griffey and then behind Griff is the rated rookie autograph of Ryan McMahon. Rockies, that goes to Alan Murdoch with the Rocks. I'm rooting for this guy because he has a nice autograph. I want to see more of him in products. There you go. Four out of 60 on that one. Ronald Guzman for the Rangers out of 199. We've got Mitch Garver autograph. There you go. Rated rookie autograph for the Twins. That'll be for Ed Aarons and the Twinkies. You got Cal Ripken for the Orioles out of 299. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies out of 199. There's Otani out of this world. We'll save one of those for EA. There's Miggy Orange out of 199. Marcus Stroman. See, Braves are actually looking for Stroman. Looking at Stroman. He might be a better option just price wise. Out of 299. Tiago Vieira, 3 out of 50. That's the Carolina blue. That's for the White Sox and TJ. Francisco, rated rookie, out of 149. Javier Baez for the Cubs, out of 199. Tyler O'Neal, ton, out of 299. Remember his autograph? Looks like ton. Former Mariners prospect. Manuel Margot, Manny Margot to 99. Orlando Arcia for the Brew Crew to 149. Joey Gallo for the Rangers to 299. Adrian Beltre to 299. Matt Olson out of 199 for the A's who are playing some good baseball. 
Edwin Encarnacion at a two ninety nine. Michael Conforto to one ninety nine. Justin Turner, Giancarlo Stanton to 99, and then there's Freddie Freeman right there. All right, we're halfway through this full case break. Coffee break? So we're halfway through, folks. Making some good time here as well. Ron says, I love everything about the optic design this year except the Diamond Kings inserts. Looks too much like that, like the normal set. Yeah, I could I could do without it. It's okay. I, could, I don't mind it that much. I could do without it though. All right, so Chris Archer is only getting paid, I looked it up, Chris Archer is only getting paid $6.4 million this year, and he's only being paid $7.6 million next year. And in 2020, in that third year, in that third year, what is that third year there? It's a $9 million club option or a $1.75 million buyout. And then in 2021, it's an $11 million. So there's two club options you know, in 2021. So it's, again, six million this year, seven, nine, and then 11. Well, yeah, I mean, relative to the sport, relative to you and me, that's a lot of money, Arthur. But relative to, to his value within Major League Baseball, it's pretty low considering how how less effective pitchers sometimes are getting paid a lot more money. Now, to you and me, Arthur, yeah, it's a lot of money. But in the world of baseball, if I could put up Chris Archer numbers in, in Major League Baseball, Arthur, I'd be expect I'd be looking for a lot more money than that. That's for sure. Relative to what everyone else is getting paid. All right, next box. Good luck. There's Carlos Correa for the Astros out of 299. We got Greg Allen autograph, rated rookie auto for the tribe. That'll go to TJ with the Indians. There's Clint Jackson Frazier, rated rookie autograph, blue for the uh, Yankees. TJ Poyer with the Bronx Bombers. It's another Clint Frazier, different one though. 57 out of 60. There's Rafael Devers, rated rookie, out of 99. And All-Stars, Carlos Correa, 35 out of 50 for the Astros. And that one will go to Chris Parent. And once again, we'll, we'll sleeve and top load all of those uh, variations before it gets sent out. All right, next box. Uh, no, you don't have the Indians. TJ bought the Indians earlier earlier this afternoon. You have you bought the Tigers, Pirates, and Padres, Chris. So Chris Archer getting paid about six and a half million dollars or so. Compare that to 
Arthur is Shelby Miller, who's getting paid $4.9 million to do what Shelby Miller does. Wouldn't you rather pay like another million and a quarter for what Chris Archer does? So you can start seeing how, how much of a deal Chris Archer could be. This is another parallel hot box here. All right, so another parallel hot box coming up. We've got Sal Perez out of two ninety nine for the Royals. We got an autograph. We got another Ryan McMahon rated rookie autograph for Alan Murdoch. And the Rocks. There you go, Alan. Four out of 35. Nice lower number there. Junior out of this world out of 149. Paul Blackburn Rovers out of 199. Jose Bautista to 149. There's Odubel Herrera again for the fight in Phil's out of 199. Tiago Vieira for TJ and the White Sox at a 299. Matt Olson, I think Kip has the A's at a 99. Rangers, Noir Mazzara at a 149. David Duffy. Joe Morgan for the Red Legs. Ryan Redman with the Reds at a 299. I like that Ryan Redman gets the Reds. Lance McCullers, another Astros All Stars. And then we've got nice Mikhail Franco optic autographs. Nice one for David Duffy and the Phillies. Mickey Mantle to fifty. Robinson Cano to two ninety nine. When is when is when is he off his of suspension? Daniel Murphy out of one ninety nine. Mariners could use him for that playoff run. And out of two ninety nine, Justin Bohr will be like, like a new, like a free agent signing. You Darvish for the Cubs out of one forty nine. Michael Conforto out of ninety nine. And Jose Ramirez All Stars, twenty out of fifty. Zach Granite out of ninety nine. Victor Robles, who I think is off the DL and playing again in the minors for the Nationals. Marcelo Ozuna at a two ninety nine, and then Victor Robles and Ryan McMahon again. All right, now one of these is going to be an autograph hot box. We're going to find out which one. Do the Mets start trading, guys? I mean, I, th I think I think Yoana Cespedes is going to be out for like, like maybe over a year. That's such a that's heel calcification. I think is the issue, which may explain a lot of his other kind of lower body injuries. If he's compensating for those heels, it's got it's got to be really painful. Um, and maybe just incon that inconsistent production. Like sometimes he looks like he's just hitting out of his mind, and then other times, I don't know. So, what do they? Do? What what did the Mets do? Mets right now are winning, eight four, leading the Pirates eight four in the top of the seventh. I feel like they just and they got David Wright, who hasn't played for like a year or two. I think he's still under contract for like another two years. They got to do something. I don't know if they have that farm system that can compete with, you know, the Phillies and the Braves for the next five years. So maybe you just blow it up. Do you move to Grom? 
Do you move Cinderguard? I think who's on the DL with hand, mouth, and foot disease? I don't know how you get that. There's Willie Adams for the Rays. Ed Aarons with the Rays, who are a couple games over 500. We're playing nicely. There's Otani. Save one of those. Running. Cal Ripken for the O's out of 299. There's Francisco Lindor for the Tribe out of 199 for TJ. I think we saved one of these. We'll save another one. And there's Luis Gohara, rated rookie. So I think these two are the are the autograph hot boxes. Who has the Bravos? That'll be Sen Yin with the Braves. Braves playing my Dodgers down by three in Atlanta. Top of the seventh. And a gold Willie Calhoun, who I think was recently called up. Two out of ten. That card is gold for the Rangers. David Duffy. Former Dodger prospect who can hit a ton, but I think works better on an AL team. I think he has cinder blocks for hands. Right, TJ? I don't know if, I don't know how much TJ has seen Willie Calhoun in double A. All right, and TJ needs some white socks too. I'll get some white socks for him. All right, next one. Good luck, everybody. Dodgers up four nothing now on the top of this. What is what is happening in that game? Let's keep let's get, a, get a, keep an eye on my Dodgers here. So they first scored, obviously, Chris Taylor scoring, Van Kemp scoring, Verdugo, Verdugo with an RBI, nice. Uh, Blom. Machado homers, his 25th homer of the year. That put the Dodgers up 3 0. And then uh, Rich Hill singles on a ground ball to center field to en enter Enciarte. Alex Verdugo scoring. So Rich Hill helping. Rich Hill still hitting in the seventh? All right. Yeah, TJ is saying his June was good over. Yeah, the, the defense was definitely the reason for, for Calhoun's trade. So how many how many pitches how many pitches is Rich Hill thrown then? Oh, he only has 75 pitches in the seventh inning? That's not bad. I'll take that. We're going into the seventh inning. They're letting him bat. He's got more in the tank. All right. We've got another Willie. It's like a deja vu from the last box. Ed Aarons with the early Willie Adams auto. We'll sleeve up one of those Jimenez for you, TJ. He's supposed to be the next big thing for the White Sox. There's Andrew McCutcheon, red to 99. Chancisco to 149. Reese Hoskins, rated rookie. JD Martinez. Ben Intendi. And Joey Gallo, 24 out of 25. Nice. Rangers, David Duffy. Tyler O'Neill. 
And another Luis Gohara rated rookie autograph for the Bravo, Sen Yin with the Braves. All right, Alan wondering, uh, I don't know if Nightbot can help you with that. As far as I know, Nightbot has the ability to, to drop links for me and help me out in that respect and answer some frequently asked questions. But I don't know if Nightbot has the power, has the x-ray power yet to look inside and see what autographs and hits are in there. Someday, although I'd be worried if that day ever comes, I might be out of a job. The robots will take my job, Alan. All right, second to last box. These last two boxes should be five auto hot boxes. Hot, hot, hot. I can feel it. There's a little bit of warmth emanating from these packs here. A little extra warmth. All right, good luck, everybody. How do I know which ones are hot boxes? Because other people have told me, Alex Donnelly. They're like, they're like, hey, aren't all the hot boxes in the same position every time? And I was like, I don't know. Let's do some cases and find out. And lo and behold, they've been in the same position every time. I think when I pull out the boxes and it says hot boxes first, it's always on the left side, the bottom two of the left side, which would be actually be the top if you open up the case. And if they're if it's like this, then it's on the right side. But I open them like this. So, which, you know, it doesn't really matter too much for our purposes, simply because... Um, we're doing full case breaks, right? But it might be something to keep an eye on if uh, if you're if if you guys are with with the other guys and you're doing like you know half case breaks or uh, fewer case breaks, or if you're buying personal boxes, maybe try to get that out of a fresh case and maybe have them mix it up or something like that. Otherwise, you never know. You can have some shady shady other guys. You know, maybe pulling out the autographs first, the autograph hot boxes first, and then selling you the other non hot boxes. Unbeknownst to you. Although I think the parallel hot boxes have all been in different positions, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Helen says Nightbot is like the 1980s eight ball. I, I, I wish it would be. Maybe we can maybe we can set some commands where you guys can type in things and he'll give you some advice. Nightbot advice. Paul Paul Hutchins still has his magic eight ball from the 70s. I wonder if like original eight balls, magic eight balls from the 70s will be in its original packaging. Is that worth anything? That's Ozzy Albius for the Braves. There's Stanton for the Yankees at a 99. And we've got Mitch Garver for the Twins, rated rookie autograph. That's one for Ed Ahrens. And this another one? It is. Rated rookie auto Max Freed for the Braves. That goes to Sen Yin. He can barely read it anymore, Paul. So there's two already right here. And then we've got Austin Hayes, an orange parallel for the black and orange birds. That goes to Eric Bailey and the O's. 87 out of 99. Should be expecting two more autographs out of here. Tomas Nito, rated rookie auto. Oh, there it is right there. This Nito hit goes to Sam Strayer and the Mets. And it's the Hawk. Significant signatures, Andre Dawson. Megan with the Cubs, nice. Not number, but a refractor significant signatures autograph. Nice. So there are your five right there. Let's see if we have some more parallels here. Syndergaard refractor. 
Bregman, Tony Gwynn, Green. Who has the Padres? Chris Callantine, last spot mojo, gets the legend Tony Gwynn, Green. And that is four out of five. Two, three, four. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. What a great hitter. I think he could have could have been a guy to hit 400 uh, if it weren't for that strike-shortened season. There's a lot of great storylines from that strike-shortened short, season in the, the mid-90s. A lot of what-if, what could have beens All right, last box, last hot box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck to everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting in. Another case of this stuff is in stores right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check it out, fresh case, 12 boxes. And we can glide through another one of these and see what monsters we can pull out of here. It's a longer break, but it, it never feels that long just because there's so many, there's always a couple autographs and a, and, and a number of parallels per box plus the hot boxes. So there's visually always something to, to see or comment on. So it's a lot of fun. I just saw what Gabe was saying. Why is it an eight ball? Seems kind of random. And then Paul's like, who would want a magic five ball? What color is a five ball? Five yellow? No, that's two. And the stripe is one, right? Five's got to be like, is that the green one? Yeah, maybe, maybe, it's just, maybe it just doesn't mark it as well. A certified football sold out, says TJ. Nice. So that'll be, that'll be the break after this. I'm going to take a quick five after this, and then we'll we'll start that certified football. Nice. Thanks, everybody. Pick your team four for certified. Also in the store, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go, go in on that. All right, last box. Good luck. We've got, out of 99, Willie Calhoun, rated rookie autograph for David Duffy and the Rangers. There you go, 35 out of 99. And then we've got... Greg Allen and Zach Granite is your rated rookie autograph. Two of five in this autograph hot box. That goes to the Twins, Ed, with the Twins. Then we have J.D. Davis, rated rookie auto for the Houston Astros. That'll be for Chris Parent. Walker Bueller. Paulo Giancarlo Stanton to 149. And Tiago Vieira, rated rookie autograph for TJ and the White Sox. There you go, Tej. This is autograph four out of the five in this hot box. And it's going to be Alan Trammell. Wow. One of one, Alan Trammell. The Tigers were just sitting there until Chris Callantine picked him up as part of Triple Last Spot Mojo. One of one, significant signatures for the Hall of Famer, well-deserved Hall of Famer, Alan Trammell for the Tigres. One of one. There you go. Chris Callantine, Chris Zombie, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Tigers were just sitting there. I even said, we were going through the checklist. I even said, hey, Alan Trammell would be nice. Tigers fans. There's rated rookie Reese Hoskins, blue, to 149. 
That Benintendi, I think, is out of 25. There it is, 20 out of 25. And that is for Bruce and the Bow Sox. Rated prospect, Bo Bichette, Dante's kid. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. So we got the this is a this was a nice case. We got the out of five Tony Gwynn, the Shoei Otani, Otani to twenty five, the Verdugo, and of course the Alan Trammell, one of one. Strong case, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another case in the store. So check it out, boys and girls, on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And we will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.